Yo, it's French here. Um, first of all, I'd like to, um, to thank Cody for everything he's done, supported me for everything. Uh, this past couple of months, his videos helped me. Um, so this is why I'm sending this video out, and I'd like to open up about things what have affected me by other people's crimes. Um, so today is about how paedophilia and paedophiles crimes affect others um, within not just their victims the families as well years down the line after the crime has been placed so a family member got convicted Bearing in mind, it was before 1998 that he got convicted. I was born in 98 to the person in question. Then, my mum never stopped me from seeing him because she thought that was the best idea, which caused more health problems for me because it confused me as a child not knowing what he was capable of um, then later on in life I ended up in the care system after the care system I met a lady moving on to that I end up having children once I had the children it flagged up onto social services records of the person in question what had been convicted of children and paedophilia and everything else in question which you can imagine uh, I don't know the full story it was hidden away from me for 18 19 years nothing really said to me about it um, it only came out to me by social services that it was a paedophile. So it wasn't even family what told me. It was the social services. So now I am currently going through court battles. I've got to go through tests. Um, through the situation that he put me under as a child. The stress he put me under as a child. Not knowing rights from wrong because it, it was touchy feely with women. It messed me up as a child. Um, at once I thought I was like him because of the way he was. It impacted on me because he taught me wrong as a child. But then as soon as I'd grown up, I ended up going through Bernardo's uh, to say it was wrong. I opened up then and then that's when they stopped me from seeing him. So, paedophile and paedophilia affects not just their victims, but the family as well. It's a hard, hard situation to be in. People don't like admitting that they've got them in the family. I keep it quiet. This is why I've asked Cody to blur my face out today. I may come out open and show my face. In some of the videos, but not this one. I'm not ready for coming out in the open as yet, especially on this situation. Um, because I'm currently in court cases now for my son because they now think I'm at risk to my son because he was at risk to me because I've been put in that situation. Um, it's only going to be a short one for now but yes thank you all for listening um just comment below and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button the bell and just keep following cody because there is good content go going to come on to cody's channel peace out cheers you always friendship
thanks for everything for yesterday's comments. I uh, really appreciate it, which has made me come out and show my faith, show real me. Uh, thanks for Cody for actually letting me do this. Today's video will be part two of how paedophilia affects family and the other tactics of what they do and just life of that person on their family. So that person being my father, my biological father. Same biological because my mum met my stepdad later on in life. I'll get to that in another video. I'm just finishing the domestic violence and the abuse as my childhood in this one to go on to a different topic on the next video. So mum let me go to his on a weekend. Him being my step my biological father. So I went to his um he was arguing with his partner and fighting with his partner, we it being knives, vodka bottles whilst intoxicated. Um it hit her with phone chargers, it her over phone chargers, over slightest little thing, it hit her with or over with it depended with how we felt at the time. If he didn't like it, he did her. There was one time where he hit his own son, being me, his youngest son, with the yellow pages. Busted my nose, bl busted the veins in my nose. I'm about to have it cauterized now four times. He's cut his ex-wife with vodka bottles. She's had to be stitched. He swung a plug at her, just emulled in the wire and just swung a plug at her. So she's now got three indents where her plug has hit her. He's stabbed doors, me being on the other side, his ex-wife being on the other side of that. So close to it and his son with the knife, nearly stabbed me. He's really vindictive, he's abusive, controlling, you've got to do what he says, otherwise he'll be violent towards you. Um, there was one time I wanted to come home, it was Christmas time, because my mum had gone out drinking with it being Christmas with a current partner. Then the current partner at the time being my stepdad. Um, she couldn't pick me up so I had to stop there the night. I ended up being abused. He told my mum I'd fell off a slide. Grazed on my knee, cut on the outside of my leg. I was in a mess. No hospital treatment to get me checked over. No nothing. Got left. Just a tea towel just to take all the blood away. Just let it dry up. And heal itself. Luckily there's no stitches or anything needed. At the time. No scars. Now. Later on in life. And I currently have no contact with him. I don't want no contact at all. Uh, as I've hit him myself, I got older to the point when he was feeding me real bad information. He was teaching me the wrong things. What he does with him being a paedophile. He was in the paedophile mentality. He was trying to put that into me. Teach me that as a young age. Going through school. 
I got taught no it's wrong by Bernardo's luckily I came out of it being violently attacked at school for it being bullied at school for it because I realized what was going off all the students um, so I got bullied all the way through school that's all for now at the moment just it was really abusive towards me and women at the time uh, it is, I'm sorry it is another short video but I have come out and shown my face so I have gained a bit more courage to talk about it freely thank you for all the uh, comments from yesterday's video if you've not watched yesterday's video go on to Cody's videos and find it from yesterday it will be the last blurred video so like I said just thank I just thank everybody for what they've said to me and some have opened up about their traumas being abused and knowing the brothers or family or whoever it was has been abused uh, if you ever need support or need someone to talk to who's been through it just comment support I will message you and I will get in contact with you I will find a way to get in contact with you and we will talk private and confidential about things you don't have to tell me everything just what you want to tell me and I'll try and help you the best I can as someone who's been through it themselves as some of you will say try ring the police get him naturally done for it like one did on the comments I did try to ring the police last year when I was mentally prepared to try and deal with it. The police has turned around and said to me because it's not happening there and then they cannot do nothing about it because it's past and there's no current evidence there's nothing to charge him on. It's all in my head and past there's no evidence to go on it's he said she said the dc said detective constable that means from the police station so they closed that case within a month it took them to a week to get back in contact with me they wanted me to go into the station for an interview all recorded videoed and it was him to tell them what had gone off but because i told them what had gone off and there was no solid evidence no video footage no nothing they couldn't prosecute but yes peace out and more to come later so keep tuned in later on uh may not be today but keep tuned the may be my next week peace out cheers cody